Hey guys, it's Renee, welcome back. For today's dessert idea, I just want to share this chocolate covered pretzels. They are great for any occasion, really. They are super easy to make and you only need three ingredients. The first ingredient being pretzels, I'm using a handful of them. Then I'm using some chocolate. For this, I'm using some semi-sweet, actually, Hershey's uh, chocolate chips. Some people say that you're not supposed to make anything covered with this chocolate chips, but they work for me. So these are the ones that I use. And then some nuts. Quantities for this depends on, you know, how many pretzels you're preparing and how much you love nuts and chocolate. So the first thing we're going to start doing is chopping our nuts. And if you have a food processor, feel free to use that one. I don't own one, but even if I did, I just prefer to do it by hand because I prefer to control how, you know, small my pieces are. Just make them super small, but not so small that they are like, you know, they look like sand. The second thing that I would suggest you to have in hand already is a tray with some wax or parchment paper on it. Make sure to put the softest part on the top and make sure you have those things covered just before you melt your chocolate. Now I did temper my chocolates, followed the instructions of ham on the back of my package. And to start covering your chocolates, you're going to pretty much just, um, you know, throw them in there in your chocolate and you're going to be using a fork to actually, well, I used one, it's easier to just pick them up and then remove the excess as you go and then just place them on your tray with your wax or parchment paper and then keep doing that until you're pretty much done. Okay, and if you're going to be uh, kind of sprinkling on the top of your pretzels, this is when you do it, just before they, they start to dry. I'm just going to sprinkle my uh, chef nuts on the top of half my pretzels because I want some of them to have nuts and some of them to have any other design that I'm going to show you after we're done with this. So just pretty much cover as much as you like. I'm being pretty generous with my nuts. <laughs> In some places they, they barely add nuts but I just like them a lot and since I'm just customizing this, I'm just going to go crazy with them. And then for the other ones that don't have anything on the top, I'm going to drizzle some chocolate using my fork and just going all the way around just, you know, you can get as messy as you wanted them to look. And in the messier, I think they look cooler rather than just, you know, being all perfect and just precise lines. But, you know, it's um, totally up to you. But just wait for them to dry a bit just before you go ahead and drizzle the whole thing because otherwise it's going to like blend the whole thing and because my background is like super messy right now I don't I want my chocolate to you know harden that way I'm just going to make a change of my parchment paper I'm just going to remove this one from the tray that is on right now and I'm just going to add some new like parchment paper on the top and then I'm just going to change my pretzels using a toothpick you just want to make sure you do this before the whole thing is getting set because as you can see in some of them it was like really hard to remove them from the messy paper. This is optional, this is just for more presentation if you want your pretzels to look up, well, less messy. And then let them hard and that's pretty much it. I just wanted to share this idea. Again, it doesn't have to be necessarily for one occasion and the flavors are super, super amazing. I've actually, this is the first time that I try them. And I wasn't sure because, well, pretzels are kind of salty and then chocolate, but it complements in a way that you're going to love them, I think. So thank you so much for watching. If you like this uh, idea and this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, share it, and subscribe for more fun stuff. Check out my channel for more uh, stuff that I've done already. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Bye, guys.